Hello guys, how you doing? I just wanted to make a quick video here of how I harvest my uh, eel vinegar culture. Uh, and I had this culture running for about a couple of months already. It's old. I know I need to replace it. Um, but this is where I keep it in this uh, container here. And what I use for it to harvest is the uh, coffee filter. And this little thing here to scoop out uh, the vinegar eels. Uh, you could use anything to scoop them out. So I'm going to try to do this with one hand and hold my phone at the same time. Uh, it's gonna, I know it's going to be a little difficult, but I'm going to try my best. So I just take this out of here. Uh, scoop out. This is more than enough for what I need. Uh, okay, and then I placed this coffee filter right on top of my container and I'm gonna put my phone on hold so what I did was I just poured the uh, the vinegar eels the water into the coffee filter and I was filtering back to my culture and what's doing is uh, what it does is it filters the little little tiniest the baby eels and is dropping them back to the container and you know I just wait give it a few minutes for uh, the water to uh, drain down uh, and I'm gonna put on hold for one one more second so I'm back and what I do is I just put the uh, the top here and just wait for it to drain you know it takes a couple of minutes uh, not a big deal okay so we're gonna come back to this once uh, all the water has uh, filtered through okay so now I'm back here so once the the water or, or the eels have completely drained down to back to my container here what I do is I grab uh, the coffee filter switch it around flip it uh, just gonna be a little difficult and then rinse it out here on fresh water just rinse it out real good okay rinse it out on fresh water Give it a little squeeze there, and then you'll see. And I'm here. I'm trying to make an attempt to show you some of the uh, vinegar eels that I harvest, but I can't really see them on my phone, and I can't uh, zoom it in because I have one hand. But they're definitely there. I could definitely see them. And um, what I do is with this container that I have here, I just pour it on the uh, on the tanks. Um, I know that the, there is uh, some people are concerned with the acidity level of the water but uh, I mean uh, if you do regular water changes I don't think you should worry about this uh, this but this is how I do it I've never had any issues or anything like that plus for the most part uh, what I keep is uh, wild betas and they don't mind the acidity and it, like I said I've never seen I've never noticed any major spikes of acidity. So this is uh, how I, uh, I think you can see. Yeah, there you go. You can see them right there. The vinegar eels. They're very, 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 very tiny, which are great for uh, small fries or like uh, uh, the small betas. They're definitely these are great for guppies. Anything pretty much that uh, that are any fries. Uh, you know, I usually feed this. Well, to my betas the first two weeks not more than that because once at that age they're a little too big for these guys uh, but like I said just wanted to uh, give you an example let you know how I harvest my uh, vinegar eels like I said as I never noticed any spiked on any spikes on uh, acidity levels in the water or anything like that plus I do water changes on a weekly basis so that's not a big problem All right have a good one everyone Check my, you know, make sure you check the rest of my videos um, about my wild betas and stuff like that. If you like what I see, please subscribe. If you have any questions, if you uh, 
have any of the different methods, make sure you leave a comment, okay? Have a good one, everybody.